first card we got is the Hermit. Then we have the Five of Cups. Then we have the Five of Swords reversed. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. All right, so there are some bodies that could be in their head and have a lot of regrets about something. Else. Somebody's in their head with some regrets. Some of you guys could be a Virgo, a water sign, or it can be an air sign. But um, whoever this is, this could be somebody that has also hurt you at one point in time, Leo. We got the Five of Cups again. So yeah, this is somebody that knows they messed up. Somebody knows that they have messed up with you, Leo. And they definitely... It, they definitely thinking about it. They definitely analyze the situation about how they may have hurt you, Leo. But it is telling me with two double five of cups, it's telling me that your person does heavily regret hurting you at one point in time. Because whoever this is, you have you mean a lot to this person. We got the world card. And I feel like you have already ended it. So this could be a past person. Some of you guys, it's a past person that could be in their head about you. But um, yeah, I just felt like they really more, like I said, they they really more so hurt about this ending because not only how they did you, but they also hurt about the simple fact that it has ended. But I feel like some of y'all could be trying to like protect yourself from this person. Maybe at the time this person hurt you, you did close that chapter out and you did hold back. I am getting that energy where you may have, you know, focus on yourself. But I feel like you have already came out of that. Like, if this is somebody that may have hurt you, Leo, I feel like you have already got over this person, Leo, and moved on. Some of y'all could be talking to somebody new. Not everybody just take what resonate. But it is saying that this person could be um, pretty much conflicted about you being in another connection even though you have already moved on because some of y'all are talking to somebody new the rest of y'all um you may not be talking to nobody new maybe you just got over them and you have moved on with the ace of pentacles y'all just take what resonates but um i am seeing somebody overcame some type of conflict whether this is your person you know was conflicted about what they have done to you and you moving on or whether this is you overcoming the, overcoming the conflict that they may have you know, put you through and moved on. So, like I said, just take what resonates too many cards. I need two card spirit in this situation. We got the two of cups right here. Yeah, I feel like you got over this person. This is reverse. You got over this person. I feel like you don't love this person anymore. I feel like you have, like I said, ended it and it fell out of love with them and you just don't trust them. You just don't trust them no more. But expect this person to reach out to you anyways. This person is, you know, eventually reaching out to you anyways, whether you are with somebody else or not. Some of y'all are not in a relationship with somebody. The rest of you guys, you could be talk, dating somebody or you could be in a solid connection with somebody. I'm seeing both energies. But somebody could be coming in to give you some form of a, a form of clarity, Leo. Yeah, didn't I say some of y'all could be in a relationship with somebody else? If not, it could just be saying that this is what your person want. We got the Ace of Pentacles and we got the Ace of Swords right here up under it. So they could be wanting a solid con a connection with you. And they are coming in with the truth, Leo. And maybe the truth could be the simple fact that they do want to be with you. But like I said, just take what resonates because this is not a personal reading. This is a collective reading. But let's keep it moving. What else spirit in this situation? Because this person does, you know, want to speak to you, Leo. Whether you are in a committed relationship with somebody else or not. All right, what else here in this situation? Clear and clear of messages. Okay, we got engagement ring. So some of y'all could be engaged or married to somebody else. And that could be the reason why we've seen the Ten of Pentacles. But I'm telling y'all, whoever this is that's coming in with this form of communication, some of y'all y'all are already in another relationship. Some of y'all are married. Some of y'all are engaged by the time this person reach out to you, Leo. You know, but... If not, it could just be saying this person could be reaching out with some truth, you know, and they could be wanting to be in a relationship with you.
Mm. Some of y'all is over. Some of y'all, if you are in a relationship, like if you are engaged to somebody or in a commitment or married to somebody new, your person could be wanting you to end that relationship to start a new beginning with them. Because I am getting that also. So if you are dealing with somebody, whether you're married or not, your person could be trying to get you to leave that new person to go back to them. Especially if this is an old person that comes back that hurt you. Now, the rest of you guys... Either way, I'm seeing that some of y'all are engaging with a new beginning, a new person. But it's telling me that your person definitely wants to commit to you. Some of y'all, your person could be wanting to propose to you and start over. Okay, we got date. So, yeah, some of y'all are definitely is dating somebody else. You are definitely interacting with somebody new, Leo. I'm getting engaged in a new partner. But your person wants you back. Some of y'all, this old person could be asking you, can they take you out on a date? It's like they're trying to come in and woo you, Leo. This old person could be trying to come in and woo you, but you got, you have somebody else. Like I said, whether you're married or not to this new person, you're engaging with somebody new. What else, spirit? I feel like some of y'all could be needing to, to think about it. Maybe you could be sitting on it, Leo. Maybe you could be sitting down thinking about what this person has put you through, you know, and everything. Or they could just be in your face trying to like or calling you. I don't know if they see you physically or they called you. But I feel like some of y'all, this person could be trying to bring up the past. Whether they're trying to bring up the past of the good memories y'all had. Or they could just be trying to, you know bring it up in general whether it was good whether it was bad or this could just be you leo maybe you could be telling me you have some you seeing somebody else and um maybe you could be telling this person listen you hurt me blase blase or they could be saying this to you like i know i hurt you i want to start all over with you i want to be with you drop that person i want to be you know you know how people live sometimes like they try to if you talk to somebody new that's when they want to come want to come running back but i feel like that could be the case some of y'all are not in a relationship or dating somebody new. It's just, just the fact that your old person could be trying to like woo you, you know, to get you to take them back, Leo. But I feel like some of y'all could be still thinking about how this person has hurt you. Okay, clarify. Look, I knew it. Y'all got to be dating somebody new. Y'all, Y'all got somebody courting you. You are engaging with somebody new. You made some changes and started dating somebody new. It keeps saying that. Clarify engagement, coffin. Okay, we got engagement ring. We got coffin. And then we got the courtship. Like, literally, some of y'all could be literally in a relationship with somebody new or married or engaged to somebody new. You have made changes. Some of y'all probably even live with this new person. If this is a new person, some of y'all probably even live with this new person or they live with you or y'all live together. It don't even matter. But some of y'all, this person could be trying to get you to end a commitment that you, you know, or a situation that you may be in right now just to be with them. I'm telling y'all. Well, then we got the great fortune right here. So I feel like somebody could be like, even though somebody could be dating somebody new, Somebody could also could be thinking about what the other person has done to them. This I feel like this is you, Leo. Like, even though your ex pop up, I feel like you all you can think about is what this person has done to you. And all you can think about what is happening in your life now with this great fortune. Some of y'all could be thinking about whether if you get back together with your ex or whether it would be better than it was last time. I feel like some of y'all could be having to make a decision. But somebody is, like, thinking about... Having a blessed union with you. Like a, something good with you, Leo. I don't know why, but somebody is giving you something to think about, child. Some of y'all could be dating somebody who is wealthy. Maybe this new person is, is somebody who is very wealthy, Leo. Because we do got great fortune. And then we got wealthy man at the bottom. Whether this is a man or whether this is a woman or not. It could just be saying to somebody that has their stuff together. They got a lot of money, you know. And um, I feel like somebody is dating somebody that could be rich or wealthy or 
they could be well off, right? But um, I feel like that's what you think about or what your life is right now compared to what somebody is trying to bring into your life, which is the old person. Okay, what else? We need some more detail. What else, spirit in the situation? Life is doing so much better without this old person. But this old person trying to come up in here and change the game. Like they trying to, they trying to come in here and switch some things up, Leo. Because they see that you are happy without them. Okay, what else? Or they just see you fine without them, like not being bothered, like with the, you know, without them or whatever. But wow, we got the lovers reverse. So somebody making the decision to walk away. Some of y'all going to end up making a decision to walk away from this new person or to walk away from somebody that you are currently in a relationship with living with. Not everybody. Not everybody. Now, if you are just dating somebody new, Leo, and you are single, because I am seeing that. Some of y'all are dating somebody new and you could be single, right? Because the, the new person courting you, you're probably not even in love with this new person. Some of y'all, especially if you are single. You may be dating them, but you didn't fall in love with them yet. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, then the past pop up, want a new beginning. It's like, somebody could be going for the goal. Somebody could be going for, like I said, somebody made a decision. Whether you chose a new person or you chose the past. The past. But it's telling me that somebody is going for the gold. Somebody is going for the wealthy or um, where, where is more prosperous at. You know what I'm saying? Where you are more happy. We got the eight of wands right here. I don't know why, but somebody feels destined to be with you. Somebody feel like you are their destiny, Leo. Maybe this person is giving you, like, double text messages. Maybe they could be sending you a lot of text messages all at one time, Leo. But if not, it could just be sending somebody that's, like, all about you. Like, this this new person that you're dealing with that could be wealthy or whatever, that you got it going good with, this person could be all about you, Leo. And I feel like that's what you think about. You think about how your life is now, you know, compared to what you had in the past. Even though the past trying to come in and mess things up, you know, it's like... You could be this this new person is just all about you. Yeah, I feel like y'all I feel like y'all not really meant to be with this old person. Came out of conflict with this person. Some of y'all may not even want to hear what they gotta say. Some of y'all your person may end up like end up trying to like cuss you out because you don't want nothing to do with them no more. Yep, you at peace. Some some of you guys person gonna end up trying to cuss you out. Maybe they could get mad. Because you have somebody new or you told them that you don't want them no more. I don't know what you said. But they could be getting mad and calling you names or whatever. Because you don't want to talk to them. You don't want to nurture this because you are at peace right now. So whoever is trying to offer you something anyways from the past. This person could be broke. They could be a player. That's for some of y'all. This person could be non-committal. Maybe that's how you view them. Maybe they have always been that way. But that's a red flag if. The past come back and they start calling you names because they mad that you don't want nothing to do with them. All right, what else? I know it's going up with these damn flies. They keep opening my door. All right, what else? Yeah. You have already made a decision to walk away from that past person. Because like I said, you're doing better without them, Leo. You are somebody who is at peace. Like you don't you don't really need this person for real. You on the new new, okay? You are exploring your options. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Exploring your options. We got the five of swords, yeah, because you have overcame whatever this person has put you through in the past. You're no longer stuck on them. You're no longer confused. You're no longer triangulated, even if you was, you know what I'm saying? But it's like you have came out of any type of confusion or conflict that, you know, that you had dealing with this person. Like I said, you dating around. Some of y'all are dating multiple people, you know, but I feel like you could be, some of y'all are creating better bonds with people, whether this is love, romantic, platonic, 
you know, friends or whoever this is, or you just could be going out with friends and family, but it's telling me that somebody is overcoming something and coming together with somebody else. It's like you have a new crowd, Leo. Maybe you, you form, like I said, new bonds with people. Yeah, this is somebody that hasn't changed anyways. So whoever this ex is coming back and trying to come in and mess up what you got going on, I feel like they haven't changed. This person probably still is a whore if they ever was. Some of y'all not physically attracted to this person no more. You ain't got nothing to say to them. I feel like you don't need no closure. You don't need no clarity because you don't want to talk to them. Now you got this person stuck all in their head. They stuck because they had to find out the hard way. You moved on. You have moved on. Now the source reverse again is telling me you are completely over this person, whoever this is. I'm telling y'all, Leo, you are done, done. When I say you are done, done, you are done, done, child. But, okay, let's clarify these cards right here. Probably talking so low. got the four of wands yeah this situation this person is just they're not even stable you peacefully walking away and you're walking away from somebody that you know you didn't work it out with look again walking away you've been got over this person you ain't conflicted you don't need to fight argue with this person or any of that you have of walking away you walking away, you forming new bonds, new friendships with new people, new love, romantic love. You know, you have gained your power back. We got strength right here. Yeah, you are walking away fearlessly. Literally. You are walking away fearlessly. And they over here trying to hold on to you. Yeah, nine of cups. It's, it's telling me that you are somebody who is satisfied in being single and exploring your options and leaving the past in the past. I feel like you are on to the new, new. That's all I keep hearing. Yeah. Some of y'all are just satisfied with the options y'all got. Some of y'all are just satisfied with somebody new if it's one person. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all, if it's one person, you having fun with them. Some of y'all going out, you know, going out to eat with this new person. Maybe out to the movies. Maybe out to the bar, to the club. I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you didn't probably met this person's, this person's family and friends. I don't know what's going on with you and this new person. It could be. But you are satisfied with what you chose, whether you chose um, a new love that you are already currently with in a relationship with, or you just chose to... Like I said, explore your options and, you know, go off with new new soulmate connections. Yeah, you have definitely healed. You healed. I feel like a lot of you guys are not wasting your time with the past no more. I feel like the past, it stays in the past, and you just don't want nothing else to do with it. But I'm